Patrick wore the sock one time on Christmas Day and ripped a giant hole in it. So let's see what I can do about mending it so it can go into his sock drawer. So I'm doing something a little different today. I went to a friend of mine sent me a text because we were talking, she's in my knit group, so we were talking on Wednesday about books because I, it was the first time any of us had seen each other since Shelter in Place started or the second time, the second time. And I was lamenting about the library. And so she asked me what types of books I read and she was reading this by Veronica Roth. And I'm so excited to read it. So she finished it and she wants to talk about it. So I have pulled into the parking area of a baseball field, which is of course <laughs> completely empty. Um, not what you would normally expect on a Sunday when it is bright and sunny and a nice cool breeze, but in the time of, you know, shelter in place and stuff. So I am going to sit here for, I don't know, about an hour or until my water runs out and I get too thirsty and then I'll go home. Um, my friend only lives like an eight minute drive from my house. so. It wasn't quite long enough to be out of my house, personal feelings, but it was really nice to see her and it was one of those moments we were, it was my first time like talking through the door at somebody. <laughs> Not like we didn't open the door, but it was like we wanted to hug, but we couldn't hug. It was very interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read and probably knit. I brought a sock, a vanilla sock because I was like, well, maybe I'll stay outside. I'm excited for this. Also, I'm really excited for this book because Veronica Roth wrote the Divergent books and very, very long time viewers will know how much I love the Div Divergent books, but there are quite a few new faces around here. So I am excited because I love Divergent. Four is probably still my literary boyfriend. Just saying. Good morning, sunshines. It's just after 9 a.m. and it is Monday, May 4th. Normally, Mondays are podcast days, but I'm just feeling super low energy. So I'm gonna see if I feel better tomorrow because I could try to force myself to record a podcast today, but you and I both know. That when I force myself to record when it's low energy, energy, first of all, I usually don't even post them. And second of all, when I do post them, they're just not good. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow or maybe I'll just skip a week. My plan instead of recording right now is to continue reading Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. And I don't know if I'll finish this sweater today. I have 15 rows left of the ribbing. It's twisted ribbing. I have to take breaks because it makes my hands tired, but I will try. I will give it my best effort so that I can finish this, be done with it. It's going to be beautiful. It's just twisted ribbing, especially because I'm working with worsted weight. And most of my knitting is on fingering weight, so my hands have to move differently. It's a little painful. Good morning, sunshines. It is May 5th, and it is almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Why am I awake right now? Who knows? I'm sure there's a nap in my future. But I am awake, so I am going to work on my water and stone. I am on the bind off. I'm probably, I'm close to halfway finished with the bind off. So I guess I'll work on that and watch an episode of Once Upon a Time. Maybe I should read instead. 
okay, I'll read instead. And then maybe I'll fall back asleep. That's way more likely to have me sleeping sooner. Hey, sunshines. So this morning has been pretty productive, I guess, kind of. Um, I recorded three videos on my computer. Things to... One of them I've been meaning to record since, like, April 28th or something. It was the stash roundup video, but I just didn't get there. So I recorded that. I recorded um, all the small things announcement video, and I recorded this week's podcast. So I recorded those. I also took a shower, so my hair is still damp, so my hair is damp in videos, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted fancy, this is not the channel for fancy. But now I am waiting. Um, Patrick ran out to cash his tax refund check. And we are splurging and having Sonic for lunch. And I get hangry. Hanger is a thing. But I don't want to eat something and then not eat my special fancy splurge meal. So I had, don't tell my children, I had a couple of bites of Nutella. I have a cabinet where I keep um, snacks that I don't want to share. This probably isn't good. This is probably related to my eating disorder, but whatever. I, my, I'm pretty sure my mom bought the jar of Nutella for my daughter, so I'm actually eating my daughter's Nutella. Whatever. <sighs> Not sorry at all. See, the thing is, if I put the Nutella in the pantry, the whole jar will be gone in a day. And it's not a little jar, it's a big jar. Anyway, I am now waiting for Patrick to get home. So I am watching some podcasts and working on my nor'easterly blanket. -da -ba -da. So I'm going to turn it around and show you something. Here is my blanket, and this is my progress since yesterday. So about five inches, which is pretty fun. And I, the, the striping is not in the pattern. I just like to stripe the yarn sometimes. Um, it's all bunched on one needle, so you can't quite see all of it, but... I just think the striping adds a little, a little fun and breaks up the monotony of long color stretches. This is where I started the blanket and I was like, okay, I'll just work the yarn until it runs out. And then this blue scrap, I was like, no, this is going to take forever. So I broke it up a little. Anyway, when I am working with scrappy bits, I don't know exactly how long each row or set of rows to get back and forth takes and I don't want to end up over on I don't want to work back the wrong side in a different color and then have a really obvious pearl ridge it's different in a self-striping section like this like this is a self-striping yarn I don't care but when I have control over that sort of thing I don't want it so what I do is I take my yarn and I fold it in half, making sure that the tail is not overlapping. This gives me just a little bit of leeway because sometimes stitches are not all the same size, even if you're knitting them one after the other. So I take it, I fold it in half until I get here. Do -do -do -do. So now it's in half. So now I'm going to tie a square knot right here and if I reach the square knot, then I know that I've worked half of it and I don't have enough yarn to work another, um, another garter ridge. If I have a lot left over, sometimes that'll tell me that I can do two rows, but usually I've been remaining with about this much, which tells me I'll have enough of a tail to weave it in. So let's see how much I have after I do this garter ridge. So I'm back at the beginning and my knot has a little bit of space. So I should be good for one more row. I won't have a super long tail, which is perfectly perfect. I don't want a super long tail. 
Um, so I will untie this knot and get to it. The reason I use a square knot is because it's not going to come out like a slip knot would. I have in the past used slip knots to test and then accidentally tugged the slip knot out while I was knitting and missed that moment. This is all I have left. Perfection. When will Patrick be here for the fan? I don't know. He's been gone for an hour. Bim! We're starving. Bim! Starving. Bim! Bim! Okay. <laughs> Hanger. It runs in the family. That's why they're not bothering me. Because they know that Hanger is real and they don't want to get yelled at. But he's been gone for an hour. I'm so hungry. See, the problem is... He eats on a different schedule than the rest of us because he works overnight. So we're starving because we should have had lunch like 40 minutes ago. And I told him when I was starting to get hungry and then he waited for like another 40 minutes to leave to go do his stuff. So it's fine. He knows that he's just going to come in, throw a bag of food at me. And not talk to me until I eat some things. Also, I love this sweater. Good job, me. It's so good. And thank you, Michigan, for having cool weather today so I could actually wear it. I was a little worried that by the time I finished it, it would have to be put away. 